that, man, what can we do? Like, who do we come back and, and make a statement with? Who can we just be like, all right, bro, we're going to show that we deserve to be here. Who can you dominate and just put on a show on the world stage for East versus West? You know, because I hear like rumors of like, you know, they'd like to see Artem Morzov versus you, you know, like, is that something that would be interesting to you, a match with Artem? I mean, I'm pretty determined to go after Devin. Okay. And uh, that's the route I want to do. And uh, it may or may not be, you know, to get the rematch with Hermes, right? And uh, so I, uh, I'm just going to figure it out. Now, now, let me ask you, brother. What happens if you go and you take this match with Devin and, and you lose? I won't. Okay. I, I just, I'm curious to know, because I, I know what, the, what the, the people are going to say and everything. Like, what's making you feel that there will be a different outcome from the last time you guys met? You know, because the, the, the thing is, bro, is everybody just keeps saying how Devin is just leveling up so fast and so much quicker than any other arm wrestler you know with all these stem cells and everything else he's doing you know i just i'm trying to figure out where your mind is like do you think that um is it a different lane you're gonna try is it that you're just getting stronger and you're gonna come stronger with that press like what's the plans bro no i'm gonna i'm gonna be in phenomenal shape when that match is set up, I will be in phenomenal shape. And uh, I think um, I'll be ready for what Devin's going to bring. Now, let me ask you, brother, are you open to start maybe going after another lane also? Because a lot of people are asking that. They're like, is it time for Jerry to adapt to the new times? You know, you've been doing your, your flop press and, you know, you're the best man on the planet with it and all, but people are saying that, you know, they're figuring out the formula to stop you from getting in your track. Now, with that being said, brother, is there any way that you could come out and surprise everybody with, with another move top rolling? Is there anything else up your sleeve that we could pull out? It's funny that they say that people are figuring it out and they can stop me. And the only time I lost was when I had pneumonia, right? I, I was able to beat Gennady. That was a war. I was able to beat Georgie. That was a war, right? Well, the, the guy that I personally would be talking about would be Devin, you know, is because when I seen right. um, that old match with Devin, it's just the, the style that he did, bro. He kept that shoulder up. You know, he was staying in the center where you where everybody else goes flying the back and everything. Right yeah. side of the table won that meet, right? The, the side of the table that had their shoulder away from Bart is the is the winner. That's yeah, but what, the, the only thing that I have a problem with that, bro, is just because I have a big match coming up March 23rd against Nanya, and he's a presser. And I know I, I've been taught how to stop him from getting in his track and all. And I know that knowledge. So I'm just I'm confused, brother. Like, you don't think Devin has a plan to keep you out of that track, bro? And with how strong he is and the way he's the shape he's in you don't think that he's going to keep you out of that bro and that you're going to have to come with with another move or something i, I know what he's going to do right then i know what he thinks i'm going to do right and i know that i just have to be ready to have a counter and that's devin's not fast right he's never been fast devin's been a technical smart puller he's not an explosive fast puller Right. If you watch most of his matches and not one ready to go boom. He's he's not flashing through you. He's catching, controlling, and then manipulating. Right. And uh and he's great at what he does. Right. So you just have to be at or above the same well, no I doubt you can be above that level that he's at, but you need to be, you know, in the same ballpark as him. And if you can not let your hand get controlled, like I screwed up when we went, right? And I let him, he started him, and both of us, when on the right-hand side, we were able to start him with our shoulder carved in. He's going to have to sh start straight. And then the first thing he's going to do is he's going to try to jump inside to stop me from getting into my press lane. And then he's going to, you know, try to open me up and get me on his side of the table. 
which is okay. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to be ready for that. Would you be open to start like trying a new lane though, bro? Like, I, I just think, man, like it, it could be something that could benefit you just because everybody thinks that you're coming in just with that flop press and maybe something that, what about working with Bob Brown a little, man, with my coach, bro? You know, the dude, every time when I talked to him and was out there, he would give me some like tips to tell you, bro, as far as like with the strap and where to have it and all. Very knowledgeable guy, man. Would that be something that you could consider maybe? Well, I wouldn't be against it. I, the, Bob's a smart, smart dude, right? He's been doing it a long time. And uh, so if you've been to my practice before, right? I don't even press in practice. Never. Yeah. I know right? your move. You're, you're a top roller. You're, you're right. Under, yeah. But I, the, the, my, I'm just not sure. Is that top roll at an elite level? That's, well, that's, we'll that's, that's we'll, soon, soon huh? find out. we'll soon find out. Okay. No, I didn't, yeah. I didn't hear what you said, but I, yeah. I just, I want to, I want to shout out Bob Brown first, but I really think brother, we should get you over there. And uh, I think we should definitely, you know, just start exploring other routes as well. You know, I'm here in your corner, brother, and I, I'm just trying to, you know, figure out what it's going to take to get you in that throne of number one. And, uh, you know, I just think adding another trick into uh, into your arsenal, I think that could uh, throw a lot of people off. And it just, uh, you know, could confuse people that they're, they're not really going to know where you're going to go. So just something I'm throwing out there, bro.